Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to show you how I prep my nails before I do my any kind of um, application. So we're going to start with, these are my fabulous nails. Some of them are broken and split. Um, I'm kind of rough on my hands. I'm just going to start with a cuticle pusher here, like this. It's got the scraper end on this end. And I'm just going to scrape up, I'm just going to push back my cuticles, being ever so gentle, just like so. Don't need to be real forceful with them, we don't need to put a lot of pressure on them. They go back really nice and easy. We don't need to cause any damage. And then I'm just going to take the other end here uh, and we're just going to go in need, and again we don't need to put a lot of pressure, we're just going to scrape all of that loose, anything loose that we can get out, we're going to go ahead and scrape that loose and we do this because it allows for the product to adhere better. Um, because if it's trying to stick to the skin, um, it may not, uh, it can cause lifting, so, that one, I think I got some leftover product up under that one, no surprise. And just ever so gently, if there's anything to come loose, it'll come loose. I'm not super thorough in doing this because I will get out my drill next. My little e-file. But I just thought this would be a great kind of intro to doing your own nails type video. Just a basic prep. So now that I've gotten that far, I use, if I wasn't sitting on the cord, this is by Melody Susie. I'll turn it around for you. And this is a nice little hand tool. And I don't remember what bits these are I got. Um, but I'm just going to use this cuticle safe bit here. Um, I don't remember. I got it off of Amazon, and if I can find the link, I'll link it below. I'm not sure. Um, but then I am just going to take this like so. And it's great. It gets right into these folds. And see all that dead stuff coming out. Even if you think you've scraped it all out, there's still more there. But this is just great for that. And this one doesn't have uh, like a speed setting. Here you'll see it just has the knobs. And you just turn it up. And I guess keep mine down on low. So we're just going to keep doing get all that leftover product out that like went awry. I attempted to use a uh, some poly gel. I didn't film it. I was just playing around with it. it I made a mess of it. Not my best work. And even worse to get off. I don't know if it was just the brand I was using. So. I'll just clean up any 
dry skin, any yuck you may have, all that dead skin. And this is a really gentle bit. It's I think it's, it's a cuticle safe bit. It won't hurt. I can run it along my skin all day long and it not do anything. It's awesome. Now that that part's done, I'm just going to take a little brush here and dust off the dust. And then I like to take, I got these little, they're hand, called hands down, and I got these um, from Sally's Beauty. <laughs> or Sally Beauty. And this is just uh, alcohol. And after I've done all that work, I'm just going to go over with my lint-free wipe and some alcohol and that's just to make sure I got all of the dust out of the maxil folds here make sure they're all nice and clean that one alright so now that I've done that part I, oh my goodness. So I did his family member's nails yesterday. And I'm still getting the purple dust out from everywhere from doing her nails in purple. But, so now you're ready to do your, you want to go in and you'll buff these, take off the natural shine, uh, use your prep and primer. Um, I use model ones. And you can add, um, I'm going to put tips on first before I do the priming. Um, and I'll end up taking the shine off at that time when I blend my tips. But this is just your basic start. Um, so that's it. Um, let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you next time.